Welcome back to the coverage of YCS Rimini 2016, the first YCS of the new dueling season yeah. after fantastic World Championship that you guys saw just last weekend. And just like last weekend, Luke is here providing us with quality commentary, uh, running us through the um, the way that all these decks are working. Yeah. Thank you as always. Try, and try my best. Yes, and uh, we, we've seen some decks that we really did not expect, so it's a, it's a challenging it. job. We, we've had we've had almost a crazy deck every single in every single round. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, we see, of course, uh, some of the new decks with uh, Metal Foes, for example. Yep. We've seen those twice in uh, different versions. One time uh, paired with Yang Sing. Yeah. One time with paired with uh, quite a couple of cards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> not, not one particular archetype. No, kind of um, a bit of everything. For this round, we again found an interesting deck. Um, yeah. All credit goes to Fabio Minicozzi from Italy, who is playing Minerva. Yeah. And not just one of them, I think it was two of them. Two yeah. of them, yes. He's playing Light Swan. He's investing in Light Swan in the li most literal sense. Yeah, I really hope that he's playing uh, that one Lumina he's playing. It must be super rare. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not, then I'm going to be really sad. <laughs> right. So let's talk about Light Swan in, in 2016. Is it still a deck? Um, yeah, well, it's. Uh, he's 4-0 with, with Minerva yeah well, exactly yeah let's let's get that straight he's uh, he's currently winning all of his matches mm -hmm. so yeah I mean it's it's all about the Exceed plays nowadays Exceed mm -hmm. plays and synchroing into um, Cyprian Lord Omega that's, all right. the, that's the big plays that you can make also the fact that you get to play the triple anti-spell fragrance in the main Right, that's uh, also nice. <laughs> nice. It's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you manage to um, you know do your combos mm -hmm. um, and then actually play that anti-spell fragrance after you've got kind of you've taken a few cards away from your opponent with Omega um, potentially got like you know Dweller there mm. yeah. and Minerva as well ready to you know w when Minerva goes to the graveyard there's mm. some kind of destruction ability there so you can at least react somewhat right. in your opponent's deck. Uh, Lightstone Monsters of course uh, popular for sending uh, cards from the top of the deck to the graveyard yeah. that's why sometimes you run into the situation where you need to win before you deck Take yourself out, yeah. basically. So it's playing 45 cards. 45 cards. Um, yeah. I think this is one of the decks where you can get away with yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Whereas it's not that doubtful. Because when, when we see some other decks and we see 45 cards, we're immediately like, I don't think this is the best build for this deck. Yeah. Um, in, in Light Swan, it's more understandable. Yeah. It's playing five copies of the Cannot Be Normal Summon the Monsters. So three Wolf and two um, Felis as well. Right. So that's even more of a reason to kind of pump that count up. Is and it? It sounds, it sounds kind of weird, but like, the more cards you play, the less likely you're to draw the cards you don't want. Oh, right, yeah. So, but you are less likely to draw the cards you do want. Um, but are you are you more or less likely to mill them or send them from but the top the, of the... Yeah, so it's kind of it's a weird trade-off be between... I um, guess it's one of those decks that you really have to test a lot, um, yeah. tweak a lot, of course. Yeah. And I think it can be quite frustrating because then sometimes in testing everything goes well, you bring it to a tournament and then... You, you mill all the wrong cards. Just yeah. like we, we've seen that in Burning Abyss, of course, with, with Dante. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, oh, bad card, bad card. has terrible mills. And then the third card, you're like, oh, my God. Oh, everything, yeah. <laughs> everything is great. Yeah, I think this is solar recharge. Uh, it, it makes... It, yes, it, it just says soul charge. Um, no, 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 soul charge, yeah, but the one above. Um, Radiance or something. It it's it's makes sense to be soul charge. I was looking... No, sorry. Um, solar recharge. I was looking at his list and I'm thinking, how is he? Planning yeah, it's, on it says Solara, I think. It's, it's, a, uh, it's it again. Makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense for it to be Solar Recharge. We, we have to have. Uh, I'm gonna start another Facebook album with photos of deck lists, <laughs> so you guys can feel like uh, trying some archaeology. Okay, yeah. his opponent, of course, uh, Michele Riondino, also from Italy. Yeah. He is playing Domain Monarchs. Yep, Very so easy to see because there's a gigantic scratch off in the extra deck section. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, you know everything about. Domain Monarch, let's take a look at these two guys at the table and we can get our round five feature match underway. All right, so Fabio on the left-hand side, Michele on the right-hand side. Looks to me, uh, they're just uh, rolling the die. Who's going to go first? There was a four from Michele. I didn't see what Fabio was uh, rolling. Yeah, for me, in kind of uh, the last one deck kind of wants to go first just mm -hmm. to get Minerva out there as soon as you can. Yeah, um, and also make sure that your opponent has nothing to prevent you from sending cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. Yeah. No, nothing like a solemn 
yeah. solemn something really. <laughs> it's like any solemn card is going to be a problem for you. Yeah. You need to send those cards from the deck to the graveyard to yeah. uh, set up cards like everything really. Everything yeah. in this yeah. deck. Like you, yeah. you don't have to start with going into particulars. It's every Almost single everything. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to look for the um, the card that I th I thought I saw him playing earlier when I was walking around the venue. Um, Snow White. I think it's called Snow White in English. Um, yeah, I can't seem to see it, but we'll 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 soon see it because he'll he's gonna mill pretty much his whole deck. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see it eventually. Right. So yeah, the new um, it's the new fairy tale card. It's fairy tale Snow White or something. Mm -hmm. Is that the official name of Fairy Tale card? Yeah, it's like Fairy Tale no, hyphen Snow White. Oh, okay. So it's not the working title. No, no. It is uh, Fairy Tale Snow. Oh, Snow. Okay. It's just Snow. Snow. Okay. Here we can bring that card up for you guys on the right hand side of the yeah. screen. Fairy Tale Snow. Yeah. So it's a really cute looking card. Um, you can banish seven cards from your graveyard to um, to summon it from the graveyard, mm -hmm. which is really good because obviously when you got the rank four engine going. Um, it's kind of there's really good to have that happen. There's a wolf? No. Yeah, so he, uh, he played Solar Recharge on the wolf. Yeah. Didn't mill too good, but uh, the cards that he oh, drew... Oh, right, right. Yeah, that's how it ended up in Gregor. Let's see the cards that he drew. Um, yeah, it's, they're going to come up in just a second. Interestingly, now, the fairy tale cards, this is one of those many, many options where you receive the file for the translations, and it says, fairy tale is a wordplay. And you're like... Yes, I'm aware. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next comment is like, please make it work in your language. And you're like, not possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, does that not work in, in German? Not really. Well, here we, here we see straight away. So here's the prize card version of Minerva here with um, the trick clown. So got to get that clowning around in, Ollie. Oh. Um, <laughs> there's a wolf going to the graveyard. So he gets to draw one card, and the wolf gets summoned, and the clown gets summoned as well. So the, the wolf automatically gets summoned, and then he can choose to, s to play the effect of the clown. But she chooses not to. No, do, uh, is there? Does it miss the timing? No. No, I don't think the clown can miss timing. All right. But um, there is the first Minerva, and we can see how important it really is for the deck. Yeah, I mean, look at that. He he got a wolf, and he managed to um, and he managed to draw a card from that, which is which is pretty big, especially when you're digging for those anti spell fragrances. It looks like he's just drawn Brilliant Fusion, which is actually really good for him here. Um, he's going to be able to go and find Seraph Knight. Um, and send another wolf to the graveyard for even more rank four plays. Mm. And there's an endless stream of those coming. Yeah, maybe uh, I would uh, probably overlay into into um, the second one first. We'll see. I mean, he's four zero right now, so there's not many people how, how I've seen who've been able to make this deck work. I play super aggressive with this deck, so <laughs> probably the reason why I don't do very well with it. <laughs> right. But then again, in playtesting, it's it's a bit easier for you because you can just proxy Minerva. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you don't, you're not like concerned about the whole thing. How do I get my hands on this card for the next tournament? Well, okay, says the Garnet. Don't want to be drawing that one. <laughs> it's in it's <laughs> in its rightful place right now. So he's going to make the Seraph Knight. I'm sure he's he's going to put Wolf in the graveyard. Um, or at least something that's going to benefit his blaze here. There's a bit of his deck list in Italian, so I can't tell. He might, you know, he might want to go for some kind of um, synchro play with a globe bulb or something if he's got if he's got a globe bulb. He seems to make quite a lot of normal summons, surprisingly. Okay, he goes for Felice. Uh, I don't think Felice... Uh, can we bring up Felice? The lights on Archer. Yeah, I think that Felice is only summoned when uh, when it's a monster effect that sends her to the graveyard. Ah, okay, yeah, that was spotted. That's fine. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's only when it's a monster effect that sends Felice to the graveyard. Must be special summoned by a card effect, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. It doesn't say necessarily monster effect. It's just card no, effect. No, no, it says if this card is sent from the deck to the graveyard by a monster effect, special summon. If this card is sent. By monster effect, yes, yes. Yeah, so he gets the Seraph Knight, but doesn't get the Felice there. And the oh, the judge immediately corrected it. Yeah. See, since I was looking at the computer yeah. right now, I'm <laughs> like, huh? what? Yeah, the judge corrected We're it. Good. But good so catch. Yeah, a good catch. Uh, so he gets the normal summon the the um, fairy Snow. tale. Snow. Mm -hmm. Keep calling it Snow White. I don't know why. <laughs> well, there's fairy a fairy tales. Snow there White's. is a certain chance that it's referring to that. Yes. Yeah. It's literally a fairy tale. Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that why it's funny? Yes. <laughs> it's one of those jokes that you need to explain. Those tend to be the funniest ones. Yeah. <laughs> it looks adorable, though, let's be honest. Yeah, no, it does. 
Okay. It looks cute. As an opponent, you feel really bad for yourself when you get when you hit it. Yeah. yeah when something like that is is bringing the punches. Yeah. Like oh my god. Yeah. Let's see what he decides to go into here. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you would expect to be able to. Um, I mean, like if you had Felice, you'd be able to make a nice cyphering cyphering Lord Omega. That would have been better. But yeah, so D Dweller is just as good. That's just going to stop his opponent from doing any kind of graveyard shenanigans next turn, which I think he's he's blindly going into. The oh no, of course he knows he knows he's playing against Domain Monarchs because he has an extra deck. Yeah, it's it's so well, it's one of those times when you do not need to be um, somebody who can look into the future or something. Yeah, to see and what you're you playing against. Yeah, you're going to be like, yeah, I think I have an idea what I'm going up against. Yeah, which is good. That's good, a good thing to be able to remember to ask your opponent that. Yeah, I mean, normally he should put it on the extra deck zone, of course. Yeah. I mean, um, the, if the judges are super s uh, strict and you do not put it there, you, you're you not allowed to use it, for example. Yeah, so exactly. I'm not sure what the current way of uh, how this is going to be enforced at the moment. No, I think that's right. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so th right. they are strict. I mean, it makes sense at an event like this. Yeah, well, <coughs> definitely. Well, you know, you're coming to a, a Yu-Gi-Oh! Championship Series here and it's, you know, quite a lot on the line, brand new prize card. That's a pretty good ed here right now. So he's probably going to use that Dweller straight away and just... There's no real reason not to just use the Dweller. Because he kind of wants... Um, he he kind of just wants to put that fairy tale in the graveyard. And by the way, since you said, oh, does that not work in German, I am pretty certain that this translation and this wordplay does not work in any other language. Really? I think all of Europe is uh, screwed by <laughs> by cards like that. Well, except the UK. But uh, honestly, I, I think it's not going to work in any other language. Why Why does it not work? Well, because like the German word for a fairy tale is Märchen. We just have a different word for the same thing. Oh, okay. You, you know, this... this okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And yeah so uh, I don't know what we have a compound word for yeah. it. That's why. Yeah. Okay. And, and that makes sense. I don't think it's going to work in any other language. Th which is why a comment like this, please make it work in your language, is so much funnier, <laughs> for lack okay. of a better word. So what's it called in German? Um, I think we went literal, actually. We, we then call it uh, Feenschwanz or something like that. Okay. Which is kind of boring, because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't resemble the other meaning, which is fairy it's tale. It's got a tale. It's no, no, no that, that part we got. It, Oh, you went with yeah. the literal... Yeah, of fairy tale. and of tail, yes. Okay. <laughs> because we cannot call it Märchen. And then hyphen <laughs> snow. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Something like that. And I think the Italians are not any better off. The French are not going to be any better off, yeah. and, and so on. So here's the Erebus. Erebus is going to deal, be able to deal with Minerva quite well here. So for those who don't know, do you, you want to bring up Minerva? It's not, not something we see very often. No, we indeed do not. Funnily enough, we don't see it on the app right now. <laughs> if you, um, It's missing right there for whatever reason. That could be why. So for those who don't know what Minerva does, um, you can detach one exceed material to... Uh, send the top three cards of your deck to the graveyard. And if any of those are light swan monsters, you can draw a card for each. And then whenever Min when, when Minerva gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can again mill uh, three cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. I, I, it might be that you can choose, but I, you always want to mm -hmm. mill the most. So uh, Minerva, you can mill, mill the full three. And if any of those are light swan monsters, you can destroy cards on the field up to the number of light swan monsters that you sent to the graveyard using that effect. So that's obviously really good because it doesn't target either, which is nice. Yeah. But in this case, Erebus is going to send it back to the extra deck. So he's just reading his own fairy tale. Yeah. Banishing all of his cards in his graveyard. How bad is that really for um, Fabio? Yeah, I'm trying to remember what else. I'm pretty sure that Snow does som something else when she's summoned. Not when it's normal or special summoned. Um, you can target a monster and it does something to that monster. I think it, it's either unable to attack or changes its battle position or something. I can't quite remember what it does. I know it must be stopping battle here somehow. Um, well, if it's normal or special summoned, you can target one phase of monster. Your opponent controls, change it to phase on defense position. Yeah. So you and uh, if it's in your graveyard, you can banish seven out cards from your hand, field, and or graveyard, special summon this card. Yeah. And that is it. So when it's summoned, it can turn something face down, which is yeah. what it did right here. A little like Tsukiyomi. 
Mm -hmm. Which makes the card even more powerful. Yeah, it's very powerful, even though it's adorable at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable and powerful. Yeah. A little bit like Injection Fairy Lily. That is a good example. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Michele here doesn't really know where else to go with this. He's wondering, why am I playing Light Swans in round five of a YCS? <laughs> yeah. It's, um, interesting enough, we get some live results right here from the friends of um, Long Dao, who uh, are currently feeding us information in their f WhatsApp group. Uh, Joshua Schmidt, for example, is 4-1. Nice. He lost to uh, Mermail. Yeah, yeah, that's what that message says. So we can, since we are in control of this mobile phone, we're charging it for uh, long, we can, in return, uh, write funny messages to his group. Yep, okay. So, <laughs> while he's doing that, um, I think we're going to see a second maneuver here. Well, the same maneuver, most likely. Yeah, and the, de the defense of... Um, the defense of many monarchs are very usually quite low, more like a thousand or something. Um, so it, again, it, you know, it's a pretty pretty look factor deck here. But you know, you build your deck to have many light swan monsters, so that when you use Minerva's effect here, that you're going to mill lots of great light swan monsters and draw lots of cards. All right, we send an encouraging message to Joshua Schmidt after he took that defeat. I'm sure he's going to recover easily now. Yeah. So who is currently like leading in this match? If you if you Fabio, want. definitely Fabio. Wait, is that is that ultra? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely Lumina. It's Lumina, but I think it's ultra rare. Yeah, I don't think we can be friends. Yeah, well, <laughs> didn't I didn't know you'd picking your friends like that. Well, had I known. Yeah. DT Trishula or I'll go home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Luminous Effect here, probably going to go get the Felis so he can start making some Synchro Blaze. Going to go into Michael to banish most likely the Vakro. Just because he's going to be able to deal with the monster fairly easily. Unless he wants to try and um, just defeat his opponent this turn. It kind of all depends on what that maneuver mills. Like if it mills some really, you know, if it mills really well, then. Yeah, you can't really uh, can't really complain. Okay, Pyre Monarch. I mean, this, if he's going to bring back the Pyre Monarch, he can just banish that with uh, Michael instead, and that's going to deal with that really well. Oh, wait, what? He passed? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Oh, it's still, um, I think it's still No, 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 he banished Pantheism for the Prime Monarch. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now the question is, does he want to respond? And Fabio's thinking... Oh, he, he can't respond with the Vistwell because it's already been activated. Well, he can respond with the Vistwell. It wouldn't do anything. Because the Vistwell has to prevent activations, not... He doesn't negate anything. He yeah. just prevents activations. question is, does he know that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I guess he does. You'd think so. But yeah, I mean, a big, he, he big was, card in Yeah, for a second he was thinking about it, definitely. Yeah. I think he's got to play... Yeah, like he, I would use Michael on the newly summoned Prime Monarch just to deal with it permanently. Yeah, okay. So this seems to be um, causing him to, to think about this quite a bit, surprisingly. Or maybe there's something else. No, there isn't. Yep. The okay. Prime Monarch is coming back. I don't understand where the confusion was in that past chain. Hmm. Okay. Also, because these two are Italians, of course, there's probably not going to be too much of a, a misunderstanding when it comes to communication. Nope. So, okay, so that's the Seraph Knight gets taken out via the brilliant fusion. Still, we see Michael here. I would just banish Michael. <laughs> uh, sorry, banish Michael. I would just banish the banish the Prime Monarch. So I would stop it coming back all the time. Hmm. Banish the Prime Monarch. Uh, he's still not milled with Minerva. I don't understand why he's waiting so long. Okay, so 
vanishes the Prime Monarch. There is something going on here. I think that he Ether. does have some yeah, sort okay, of a plan. Ether. I'm just not sure we, we can make sense of it all. Okay, so Ether. Yeah, I th like, the play was obvious. We could have just done this, but much sooner. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe there is a good reason for that. Um, uh, earlier when we had um, our other feature match where a player had um, Monarch Stormforth set and uh, matches this Fiend in hand, and everybody asked, why is he not tributing his opponent's monster? Mm -hmm. Why is he not bringing out the matches this Fiend? And uh, our table judge actually asked the player, because he, he's also aware of how all those decks are working, been playing quite a bit in the past, uh, Max Fröbel. And then the player admitted to him, I was just too nervous. Like, it was just too much pressure uh, yeah. in the feature match. He also lost the first game in, yeah, in, a, in a bad way against the zombie yeah. deck. Just went off with a gigantic turn. And then he was um, still in shock, basically, and, and completely forgetting, I yeah. guess, to activate that Happens card. sometimes. It does. So, yeah, let's... Uh, okay, so, as the effect's going to resolve here? Yeah, I feel like there was. A, I feel like there must have been some way around this. <laughs> <laughs> like, in yeah. Around letting this happen. So he had a something dweller. fishy is going on, yeah. He had Dweller. Yeah, that, that Dweller didn't really do that much, did it? No. I guess it's good to, good to stop Pathism next turn if it's still around. Well, well it's going to still be around, but. Mm. Like, there's no, there's no possible way for him to. For him to. Go go anywhere with this unless unless the Minerva mills are spectacular, right? To to put it bluntly, and he's gonna mill snow, so he's g he's gonna have a chance. I mean, he needs to mill a wolf here. And soul charge. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you were saying, yeah. So he gets to mill a mill a wolf. He gets a monster and he gets to draw a card. Uh -huh. Um, and he's got he's got snow as well. I don't know how many cards he has. Does do you think he has seven in the graveyard? No, I'm not quite sure, but it's it looks tough. Like yeah, it's it's, it's, close. it's close to it, yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we can play Dweller for the extra card. <laughs> Put the extra card. In yeah, the graveyard. Th in the graveyard. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I get that. Because if, he, L if let's he see, it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six. It looks like. Enough. I think it was like exactly seven, uh, but uh, with the Dweller, he's definitely gonna have seven. Yeah, because well, then you you just summon Snow back and then go into a, a level four monster. That's uh, rank four, sorry. Probably what he's gonna do here. Yeah, I think so. Unless he thinks, like, oh, I need to keep my Dweller for next turn. Surely he's like, what does he have in his hand? Um, a Lila and the Reinforcement. Then the just play Reinforcements. That's the, that's the, the last card. Okay, so he has Lila as well, so he can... <laughs> Yeah, we, we kind of established that. It's for some reason, he needs some quite some time to establish uh, things like that. Yeah. Like, he's got a rank 4 play here, so we can just Castell away the, one of the Ethers. I mean, like, right at the start of his opponent's turn, he can... Is he taking a lot of time, or is it just... Yeah, I feel like this is taking some time. to us like this. I, I don't know. Like, uh, maybe... Yeah, it's, I feel like it's taking quite some time here. Okay, so he's doing the play that I said now. <laughs> <laughs> he's like playing his snow. I feel like snow is the better choice here. Yeah, and then snow is gonna set the one of the ethers so that he can then attack over it, and then he can also make a, a rank four play ca like a castell to put put the ether back. Mm -hmm. And then um, Nikiela is only um, is only got ether. Uh, sorry, foolish barely in hand. Like Fabio is making some really explosive plays, just really, yeah, quite slowly. <laughs> he's making, yeah, he's gonna be like, I'm making some explosive plays, but I'm gonna do them in slow motion so you can follow. So it's, uh, yeah. So there's the, there's, yeah, there we go. The, the play I talked about a yeah. little while back. Well, that's, that's giving, <laughs> you, should, you should appreciate that. He's giving you more time to predict what's going to happen next. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. It's, uh, it's now he plays reinforcements. <coughs> so he's gonna, he could get Raiden and then use Raiden's effect as well. But I, I, I'm not a big fan of that because if, if he mills Wolf, then he's going to feel sad. 
I guess Goblinburg. Okay, so he's got he's got Goblinburg Lila for next turn. Like in case <coughs> in case all hell breaks loose mm -hmm. and he loses all of his monsters, then yeah, yeah, it's uh, it looks good still. Yeah, <laughs> it just looks a little slow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel like um, Neo has just dodged all of those bullets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he spent the whole movie dodging all of them, but he did it. There is an attack. We're, he's going to town. Something is That's happening. Yeah. And there is no... Still in the battle phase, I guess? Why would you not? Yeah, he can just banish all of his cards. And then I think is that's enough. Basically, he's saying that is enough. Um, but Michele is now asking. Doing all the calculations. He was on 5-4, he's on 3-4. Okay. I think Fabio is explaining to Michele, hey, this game is over. And Michele is not quite sure if that is really the okay. case. I had a strange feeling that... That, um, that is correct. Th that is, yeah, that is definitely correct. I had a strange feeling that Fairy Tale wasn't um, a quick effect, but it is. Mm -hmm. Definitely a quick effect. So after an explosive game one by Fabio Minicozzi, we got our first win for this round. Yeah, I felt like that was a really slow explosion. Yeah, yes, yes, it, it, it was. It, just, it did feel like that. Um, but, well, he got there. But he showed us the plays. Exactly. That's the, that's the plays. I don't think he misplayed in any way or no, something no. like that. Not yeah. at all. It did. Yeah. No, I mean, and this, it's showing the power, the the power of the new, uh, the f the new fairy tale snow monster. It's like absolutely yes, really it, strong. <laughs> it was putting in quite some work in that first game. Um, yeah. At first, I was a bit surprised because I didn't see a judgment dragon on this list. But I guess he's banishing so much from his graveyard for snow. Yeah, yeah you don't play judgment dragon anymore. Yeah, and that is, uh, which is also kind of surprising, isn't it? Yeah, I mean. So it's, it's not you show somebody a Judgment Dragon and you tell them, oh, it's not good enough anymore. You, you want to play a better card. And somebody's like, oh, <laughs> and show what? Them. Yeah, so there's this huge... This cute little... Dragon yeah. <laughs> versus this fairy tiny little thingy. fairy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's another card that I remember in uh, in German. Uteldrash. Is that Judgment Dragon? Uh, Urteilsdrache. Yeah. Urteildrache. Drache. Drache, yeah. okay. It's not, it's not Drach. I say I said Drach. That's... Uh, it's not right. It would be a different language. Was it? <laughs> well, it sounds like you pronounce it in the French way. Oh, it's always maybe, maybe no, maybe that's it. Maybe it's called Uteldrash in French. We, yeah, we could look it up, but yeah. It's okay. Right, right so furious side decking options here. Oh, um, also, interestingly enough, uh, our our table judge uh, told me that there were some uh, disagreements with the Chem Knight card. Um, and that's why it took everything took a little bit longer that they had to first work out, oh, this is how the card works, this is what it does, and so on. Okay. So um, I, I guess that's why it took a little bit longer than it should have. Yeah. All right. So uh, what's going to come in here? Side decks. We yeah, do I mean, have them. There's not much that you, you're going to side deck for Light Swan. <laughs> why? Are you saying nobody's prepared for that? Mm. No. <laughs> no one's prepared for Light Swan. Okay, um, how, how about the Effect let's, Veiler? Let, let's see. So, um, Effect Veiler, I, I don't think that's great, but Max, Max C, he's going to put the third Max C, and that's great. Um, Vinto. Vintato. It's Typhoon. Um, yeah, Typhoon. Not great. Um, so, we have a, another card that is hard to make sense of. Uh. That is Fairy, Fairy Wind. Wind. Oh, okay. Vento Fatato. Yeah. I mean, the, the, like the rest, of the entire rest of his uh, side deck, I don't understand. <laughs> it's in Italian. Well, this is Deflector Mage. Um, Deflector Mage? Isn't it? it? It looks like it. Yeah, but th there's no card named that. Oh, Magic Deflector. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. The, yeah, yeah. the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Magic Deflector makes sense. But this one. Um, something with Reale. Real <laughs> Decreto. Oh, Royal Decree. Royal Decree. Yeah. yeah. There oh, we go. Oh, we see what we're just doing it. We're, we're at it. Yeah. Okay. So. Cracking the code. Yeah. But still, none of this is going to help. Vince. <laughs> it's <the> nice one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I think if he goes first and manages to. Uh, Manages to play play the domain and actually get the domain live, then I don't see any reason why he can't win this game. Well, 
he hof- hopefully he's going to disagree with you and he's like nope I got a million got options so you're thinking that the domain monarch is the favorite going into the second game because he's going to go first and because he has that card I lost you Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're saying that Domain Monarch, since they are going to go first and they have the card, Domain, that they are going to win the second game? Well, that's kind of what, that, that's the goal of the, that's the goal of the deck. That's the strategy in a nutshell. Yeah, to lock them lock down. Yeah, so if he manages to lock him down in the Domain of the Monarchs, then he can play as the Monarchs play, without an extra deck. Not that I want to like curse the air conditioning or anything, but it's much colder in here than it than it was <laughs> last year. It's just the right temperature. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, I'm almost uh, cold with my feet because I'm wearing flip flops. It's yeah. YC, YCS flip flops time again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my full of shoes on. There's a secret that no one knows about the the socks that I wear for uh, event days. I always wear the same the same pair of socks at events. Okay. No one ever knows what it is. All, all the world's competitors got to see because I said it was like the biggest secret. Yeah, okay. It's a super big secret. I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm just saying, like, if you ever if you ever see me in my streaming gear, and you need to know the big secret about the socks that I wear, then you can ask me. When you're not going to tell. No, 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 no. They got to they got to come and ask me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it works. You just want to. I'll some, show you later. You just want to have some fans walk up to you. It's some kind of mystery here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like to make some kind of mystery. <laughs> So <laughs> let's be honest. If someone hears this, they're gonna they're gonna come here and be like, "Wait, Ollie was actually wearing flip flops." <laughs> <Yeah>, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's the takeaway. Yeah, because people are gonna get some some weird ideas when you say I'm always wearing the same socks. Yeah, yeah for well, both obviously, obviously for both days. No, no, no. I have two pairs of the <laughs> same. I I have two pairs. I've identical of the same see, same socks. See, you need to be careful with what you say. Yeah. All right. So here we see a pretty good start yeah. for monarchs. Um, it's. It's basically the opposite of bricking. He he does have. Oh, well, he opened Yeah. Um, and he rough. does get two copies of Effect Vader. Yeah, that's kind of rough. Um, I kind of not expect Effect Vader to be put in here because it's only really good against Minerva. But that's yeah. You don't think like it's, it's going to be that effective, despite that's the funny. name. That's funny. Well, it's almost <laughs> as fun as Fairy Tail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so, yeah, Fabio's hand here. Starts with the clown again. Hmm. The Raiden which in hand is, which is actually really good because he's going to just twin twist us with the clown <laughs> 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 and just blow out both of those back rows. That's quite, quite a uh, yeah, good move. And then he yeah. has to charge for the Raiden as well. Yeah, he will. Well, uh, he just charge for. Um, sorry, no, not char- I'm mixing it up with. Um, solar recharge. Solar yeah. recharge. It depends. It all depends on um, what he mills with charge as to mm. where he decides to go with this turn. Yeah. He can definitely summon Minerva. Let's put it that way. He can definitely summon Minerva. Yeah, and and a few other cards, in fact. Yeah. Well, it all depends on that. Um, all depends on the effect veil. If he decides to like save the effect veil for some Castell or something. Okay, so he flips over the Stormforth. Not that that makes any bit of difference. I don't think is that Ether in hand. No, There's no Ether. It's Erebus. Two copies of it. Mm-hmm. And oh, the set card is actually with one effect veil. So there's only one effect veil left in hand. It's also odd, to say the least. Yeah, well, his hand wasn't too good. Yes, yeah, so we need to see what these cards are, so... <laughs> <laughs> he feels a wolf again. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> charge instantly becomes a plus one. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I got these kinds of mills. Yeah, then you would be playing Light Then I would be playing Light Even Zone. without Minerva? No, no, with Minerva. <laughs> I have to find the Minerva somehow. Okay, so yeah, he can just make he can just make multiple. Um, he he can he can basically make a Minerva with the Wolf. Uh, did he search Lumina? You'd think that he went to search for Lumina. Um, yes, he did. Yeah, so he he can he can uh, go into Minerva and then make an attempt with Minerva and then if not then at the very least he can play Lumina pitch um, uh, Raiden summon Raiden back mill with Raiden probably mill another wolf and then um, synchro summon into Michael which 
yeah. That's kind of the, that's the line of plays that I'm seeing right now. So mm-hmm. this this first maneuver is gonna get gonna get Valid. Unless he chooses to Okay, no, definitely gonna <laughs> do the maneuver first. Don't 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 steer back. Just no. stick with what stick you with said. It. Okay, so yeah. it's maneuver. Trust in the heart of the commentary. Trust in the heart of the commentary. Oh, he's lost his maneuvers. It's not gonna go down well. <laughs> no, it's definitely not gonna go down well. Okay. Oh, he's playing it. I, I'm not sure if I should say he's playing it safe, but do I know it's not a bad option here? Um, yeah, I get. Um, I don't know what he thinks his opponent has there, unless it's it maybe thinks it's Eddie, but I have no idea why he wouldn't. Yeah, I don't know what he's thinking. Hmm. I guess the only thing that I can think of is maybe yeah. it's so there is the dweller um, activation. Question yeah. is, is the effect will come down? Probably not, not because um, well, no, no, dweller doesn't do anything. No reason to. Yeah, you're there, gonna veil there's lumina. Lumina. This is this is a lumi- uh, this is the veiler target. Yeah. And here it is. No. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Otherwise, you, you're gonna fall behind. Yeah. Well, you just you're definitely gonna get a Michael summoned on you. So there's. It's been a long time since we've seen Light Swan, so the ruling on Effect Veiler versus Light Swan monsters has changed now. So you just don't get to mill. <laughs> the end of okay. The story. Short there version. There used to be all sorts of really strange interactions with the. Um, Priority mm-hmm. is, is the actual the actual use of the word priority in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. About you know who has um, you're you're trying to indicate that game state. anybody ever used it in the incorrect way. Yeah, That's everybody did, including myself. <laughs> it's preposterous. <laughs> Wow, that's a good word. I know. Preposterous. <laughs> it's, in, it's in my list of words to use at least once a day on the stream. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't see that in a sense. Okay, well, that's that's pretty good. It is. So Veil has already happened. So he can still make Omega here. Use Raiden. Oh, no, Raiden's effects going to get it. Yeah, he can, st- he can make Omega and then take away one card from... Oh, Spark Dragon? Does he have... Ah, his anti-spell. Okay, yeah, yeah. So he can flip anti-spell and then just protect it with Spark Dragon. Not that that's going to... Like, it's not like Michaela has any spells to, to stop him. But the played. other thing is we, we say that so very often that Monarchs usually need a couple of cards to really get going. Yeah. And with two Erebus in hand, you're not going to get anywhere. No. Like No. And I mean, here we see... Oh, okay, I was waiting for him to mill another wolf. <laughs> um, no, so he can go into a Michael now and banish that back row. Our psychological torture of the the group of players that uh, Long Dao is in continues. Um, <laughs> every, every time somebody posts a result that is not an undefeated record, we ask them, "Why did you not go undefeated?" <laughs> and everybody's now unhappy with Long. <laughs> <laughs> Think he's yeah. not going to like the fact that he handed the the phone over to us. Yeah. All right. I think Michael Michael banished the back row, attack with everything, pass. Is that not enough still? I mean, uh, Mikila uh-huh. is on seven thousand. No, um, is it? No, no, it's not. Okay, Michael is Michael is on twenty six, twenty six plus the Spark Dragon, which is twenty five. That's fifty one, sixty one, sixty eight. So they'll leave him on two hundred life points. <laughs> In any case, it doesn't look good. No, for it's not. Uh, Michele Riondino. No. Oh, hold on. He's no. Yeah, he is dead because he's got um. He's got. Uh, fairy tale in screen. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He milled it earlier. I can't believe. I can't believe. Fairy tale decides both games. Yeah, really. I, uh, that's that's crazy that that would happen. Fairy tale is so good. Yeah. No, it, it I think I think so anyway. Okay. Well, there's the two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, because he protected it with Spark Dragon, yes. so no one takes damage. But yeah, just attack with everything and then. There we go. There it is. Snow is coming back, and for the second time Snow in a row. Again. Yeah, it's it's fi- uh, sixty-eight plus snow. Yeah, and that's wow. it. Wow! <laughs> wow! That was a quick, quick victory Fairy for Tale Fabio Snow. Mini Corsi. And uh, Fairy Tale Snow, really the MVP in those matches, wasn't yeah, it? Oh, I mean, together with Minerva, I guess. What's the What's the Let's try and get Fairy Tale Snow real quick. What is the attack points? 1850. That's huge. Yeah, no, it that's is. That's a huge... Like, when you think about, um, like, Gagaga Ga, Ga, Cowboy, that final that final bit of damage being 800 damage, 
Yeah. Like the final bit of damage here is one thousand eight hundred and fifty. That's a that's a lot of damage. All right, guys, I think there's a lot to talk about in this match, so um, let's just move on with our post game discussion. <laughs> 